The clock is ticking for residents of one mobile home park in Florida City. The property has been sold and they have until Wednesday to get out. They say they haven't been given enough notice, but the mayor says they've known about this for months. And Local 10's Ian Margle is live to sort all of this out for us. Hi, Ian. Hey guys, the people who live here are elderly, they are sick, many of them are low income, but this signage went up about 45 days ago. It says park being sold and the people who live here have no idea where they're going to go. We have nowhere to go. This is our home. This is where we live. People living in the Florida City RV and campground are totally lost. They've now been told the city has sold the land and they need to get out this week or they'd be trespassing. Some of them, they can't move. Some of them have vehicles that are too old to move, so that means they have to abandon their home with a six-day notice. Mayor Otis Wallace says there were three public meetings with him at City Hall in October to answer any of their questions, and he says he told them they'd have until at least after Christmas to find a new place to live. But many people say after rumors of the sale for years, they didn't believe it. They told us they were going to sell the park, but they never told us specifically when they did. The only thing is they put a banner up there at the front, which just said the park is sold, no more long term stays. Either way, many of the people living here are elderly, ill or can't afford to go anywhere else and feel they've been duped. Otis says while he feels for them, there is a contract in place for millions of dollars and taxpayers can't afford to keep paying for the land. He told us, quote, the city is willing to be reasonable. The letter sent by our attorney was to spur them to action. The city is really serious. The jig is up. It's time to start finding a place to stay. So today, while we were here, representatives from the Miami-Dade Homeless Trust and from Camilla's house did come to speak to some people and give whatever help they could. We were also told an attorney was supposed to come and file some sort of injunction to try to stop the evictions. We will keep you posted on what happened with that. It is important to point out in the letter these people were given, it says the park has been sold. And that is actually not true. There is a stipulation in the deal that says this park needs to be cleared out before that deal is actually finished. So these people still have no idea where to go and no idea when this will officially be sold. Live in Florida City, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.